Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer this Friday morning. I am, <clears throat> it seems like I'm in a different position. I raised my studio table um, to sort of a standing position just for a change. So um, not for a change for morning prayer, but just for the things that I uh, work on on the studio table. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry that I always do that. Um, so, morning prayer, as usual, will begin on page 78, um, but not as usual. Um, my son David is engaged. <laughs> Big news in our family this week. Um, David and Becca are going to get married. And I'm delighted for that and happy for them and, um, you know, and as a mom, he's my firstborn, and I just, oh, that feels like so much emotion. Um, don't know what to do with all of that, but um, I'm happy. I'm happy. Happy for all of us. Happy for them. And um, we'll pray for, you know, fortitude and uh, emotional uh, control or whatever. Just, um, he's going to be 30. On the 30th, 123090, he was born, and um, he's going to be 30 years old, and he's uh, so delightful. And Becca is getting a good man for a partner in life. And um, it was funny, I, you know, I said to her, I said, "Oh, Becca, I'm going to be your mother-in-law." <laughs> like, oh. Um, anyways, uh, so fresh news and um, lots of plans will be made. I have no idea of anything in terms of date or um, style of wedding or anything at all. Just the good news that um, they want to be life partners. That's good. God, that's good. It's good to have a life partner that you love and enjoy. And uh, they even work together. Um, that's how they met in the um, Qjenda. They both worked there. So, morning prayer. We keep praying our days. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. On page 80, Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Let us say together the Venite, page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Uh, so, I did not announce the psalm, or the reading. Psalm 102. Psalm 102. There are 28 verses in this psalm. Um, Domine, exalde, exalde. Oh, wanting the Lord to hear our prayers and letting our cry come before Him. So, Psalm 102, let us read it together. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me when I call, make haste to answer me. 
for the days drift away like smoke and my bones are hot as burning coals. My heart is smitten like grass and withered so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the voice of my groaning, I am but skin and bones. I have become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake and groan. I am like a sparrow, lonely on a housetop. My enemies revile me all day long, and those who scoff at me have taken an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread, and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and wrath, you have lifted me up and thrown me away. My days pass away like a shadow, and I wither like the grass. But you, O Lord, endure forever in your name from age to age. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have mercy upon her. Indeed, the appointed time has come. For your servants love her very rubble and are moved to pity even for her dust. The nations shall fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion, and his glory will appear. He will look with favor on the prayer of the homeless. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord looks down from his holy place on high, from the heavens he beheld the earth, that he might hear the groan of the captive and set free those condemned to die, that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms also to serve the Lord. He has brought down my strength before my time. He has shortened the number of my days. And I said, O oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning, O oh Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you will endure. They all shall wear out like a garment. As clothing, you will change them, and they shall be changed. But you are always the same, and your years will never end. The children of your servants shall continue, and their offspring shall stand fast in your sight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So the lesson... Uh, point for today is from Malachi, one of the minor prophets. We've been in Malachi this week. A reading from Malachi. See, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant in whom you delight, indeed he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he will purify the descendants of Levi, and refine them like gold and silver. And he will purify the descendants of Levi, and refine them like gold and silver, until they present offerings to the Lord in righteousness. Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord, as in the days of old and as in former years. Then I will draw near to you for judgment. I will be swift to bear witness against the sorcerers, against the adulterers, against those who swear falsely, against those who oppress the hired workers in their, wa for, in their wages, the widow and the orphan, against those who thrust aside the alien and do not fear me says the Lord of hosts. For I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore, O children of Jacob, have not perished. Ever since the days of your ancestors, you have turned aside from my statutes and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you say, how shall we return? Will anyone rob God? Yet you are robbing me. 
But you say, how are we robbing you? In your tithes and offerings, you are cursed with a curse, for you are robbing me, the whole nation of you. Bring the full tithe into the storehouse, so that there may be food in my house. And thus put me to the test, says the Lord of hosts. See if I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you an overflowing blessing. I will rebuke the locust for you, so that it will not destroy the produce of your soil, and your vine in the field shall not be barren, says the Lord of hosts. Then all nations will count you happy, for you will be a land of delight, says the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So in response to that reading, let us say together the song, third song of Isaiah. <clears throat> Canticle number 11 on page 87. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, Deep gloom enshrouds the peoples, but over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open, by day or night. They will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. He will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Gospel today is um, from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. Luke 18. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Then Jesus told them a parable about their need to pray always and not to lose heart. He said, in a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor had respect for the people. In that city there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, Grant me justice against my opponents. For a while he refused. But later he said to himself, Though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice, so that she may not wear me out by continually coming. <laughs> And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God grant justice to his chosen ones who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long in helping them? I tell you, he will quickly grant justice to them. And yet, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we um, go deep into November and toward the um, sort of the end times I was talking about a week or so ago, um, and look at at that last day and then circle around to Advent, this reading seems very apropos of looking for the coming of the Lord, you know, of Advent and that sort of last day moment of, of um, of, of judgment and justice and where, where, where are, where are things and where do we stand? Um, that's one of the lovely things about Advent is that we, we know we get to go around again. We get to do one more chance um, to do it all over um, and begin again. So that's coming just mm, less than a couple weeks. We start again with Advent. I love Advent. 
Okay, so it's Song of Simeon in response to that gospel. Page 93. You know, so the thought that maybe all of us will see the Lord, like Simeon. So let us say it together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, the light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now for our prayers. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. So for a collect for today, hmm. I always like my go-to for the renewal of life, the favorite, 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 I have so many favorites, how can you really call it a favorite when you have a lot of favorites, a favorite hymn, a favorite reading, um, a collect for guidance, let's do that one. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Cares and occupations. And on the Collect for Mission on page 100. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So intercessions and thanksgiving. Uh, obviously, for me, um, thanksgiving for David and Becca and their love. And as an intercession that they would um, plan with joy for the day of their wedding. And the holiday of Thanksgiving coming up very, very soon, um, that our hearts would be full, 
and that we would take good care of family and friends and those who travel. So let us pray the litany for these days and the responses graciously hear us. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold, for the health and well-being of our nation, for those working on the front lines for our care, and for all who work in the service industry, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, in your mercy, graciously hear us. For the isolated and health-bound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, in your mercy, graciously hear us. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, in your mercy, graciously hear us. For a blessing on our local community, that our neighborhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Lord, in your mercy, graciously hear us. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so for the general thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ our Lord, to him with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.